Well, the contents of Ed and Elaine Brown's nearly 7,000 square foot home was packed up in over 1,000 boxes and then moved to a storage facility by eight large moving trucks. In addition, 10 dump trucks hauled away trash. Workers in Nashua unloaded thousands of items into the storage unit items from fine china, crystal, and jewelry to tools and ladders, and yes, even the kitchen sink. We found so many new items, high end items. Uh, duplicates that I said maybe we can recover some of the funds that we've expended by doing a second type of sale, which is called the personal property sale. Auctioneer Roger Sweeney says many of the items an antique and bargain hunter's dream come true. The first thing I noticed was the kitchen stove. It's a Crawford stove. Apparently, looking at it, it's like a $20,000 on some antique sites. I'm going, that's sitting there, the wood stoves or porcelain and soapstone. A crew of eight workers have been going through the boxed and unboxed items, organizing and throwing out the unwanted items. It was peanut butter. They wrapped it up, put it in the box, dead plant in the box. Sweeney says because of the way the auction is structured with no minimum bid, deals will be plenty. There will be things that we'll throw into multiple lots, like the dental equipment. We'll put that all into one lot. Someone may pick up parts for their stuff or be able to set up their own practice by the time they're done. Sweeney says the Browns' estate is enormous and will likely have something for everyone. Tools, jewelry, um, the antiques, you just have to see the antiques all over the place. Now the auction has been set for November 18th with the preview the day before and Sweeney reminds bidders to come with cash or certified checks. In the studio, Suzanne Rontree, WMUR News 9.